Hi everyone, welcome back to Vedic Life Coaching. Thank you so much for joining me and welcome to a timeless pick a card reading. Hi everyone, I'm back doing pick a card. Some of you guys have asked to see these again and I do really enjoy doing them. It is a lot of fun. They don't get as high views as the astrology videos do. So what I'm going to do, here's what I'm going to do. I've thought a lot about this. At the moment I'm creating Patreon videos and that does take up quite a lot of time. So this week I've done four Patreon videos, two I'm yet to upload. But it's a lot of work and in addition to readings and in addition to you know doing the YouTube videos as well. Well this week I'm not doing any YouTube astrology videos. I thought I would just do this because I've been meaning to catch up with my pick a card audience for a while. One thing I wanted to say actually, one of you who I know you're here part of the pick a card audience, I hope you're watching today, Jay, if you're around, uh, but you mentioned that you did a performance and I just wanted to say when I read that comment I was jumping up and down for joy inside, you know, I was doing a happy dance inside for you because I was so happy to read that and that's all that life is, you know, we just take one step at a time in the positive direction, whatever that is for us and we make it happen and that's what you did, you made it happen for yourself and I love that, so great, I'm cheering you on. So yeah, I um, basically, well I've been you know, putting one foot in front of the other, doing my Patreon thing, building up there. And what I thought I'd do, guys, is I will do the occasional pick a card reading there on Patreon and it'll be free, okay? So all you have to do is create an account on Patreon, but you don't have to pay for anything there. Don't sign up. You can just create an actual just free account and you can watch free Patreon content. So when you come onto my Patreon, every now and then I will aim to do just a little pick a card check-in with you all. How does that sound? I hope that sounds good. And that's where, you know, come there. And some of you are there already and I'm so excited that you're there. So fantastic. And you will be able to enjoy free pick a card on Patreon. So I won't be putting it here because the views, as I say, they're, they're pretty low. Um, mind you, that never puts me off creating content. My favorite content to make is the Masters series and it always has the lowest views. You know, a, a Masters episode might get two or three hundred views, but they're my favorite to make. So <laughs> isn't that funny? But um, I mean, I just haven't had any spare energy or time to do a Masters. I've got a lot of ideas to do them but it's just no time. Uh, yeah so anyway feel free to choose from group one, group two or group three. So group one we have this beautiful starfish, really like that. Wow that looks good on screen doesn't it? So there's that and then group two has got this tree of life. Isn't that nice? And group three, we've got this sort of blingy flower, quite like that. I've also got a couple of dice here, which I've never used on the channel before. I've had these for ages, I never use them. So we might sort of roll the dice. Um, and I don't have any quote jar, but what I thought we would do, I have just thought this now before starting, I'll just grab the Louise Hay book. If I feel like we need a bit of guidance. I might just do now one of you taught me the term bibliomancy in in a client reading. I love this. You're so knowledgeable and I was like, "Oh, what's that word? I want to use it." And I wrote it down and then I looked it up and I'm like, "Oh, yeah, that's fantastic." So that's where we just like open up and pick a thing, you know. So we'll if we need quotes and that, we just take it from the book of the month, the book of the well, the book of the time, you know, because in book club uh, on the Patreon channel, we are going through 
a book <laughs> and the, the book at the moment is Louise Hay you can heal your life so guys feel free to choose from group one group two or group three and I'll see you in your reading Hi there group one if you chose group one or the starfish oops gonna there we go welcome to your reading i'm gonna shuffle this deck i have not used this deck for a very long time so we'll take one of these we'll see how your energy is what is it that you need to hear at this time We'll take one of these. So I'm kind of using this side as a bit of an oracle sort of a side. And you've chosen the starfish. I was thinking about the star. What is a star? What does a star represent? Do you want to be seen? Maybe, I don't know, maybe there's something you, you need to perform or you're going to start your own social media platform or any of those type of things. Let's see. Let's see what comes in the cards. That'll give us the best information. All right. So what do we have? So we've got our star here. Okay, so we'll start with this one. Oh, the Hierophant. Oh, this is a wonderful image for this. Because the Hierophant, I do think it is... We do have teaching, learning, tradition. We've very much got that depicted here. There's also a full... Oh, it's not quite a full moon. It's kind of... There's a bit of a crest in there, but it's sort of depicted as a full moon. Maybe it's coming time for you to teach something. It could be that, but we'll keep digging in here and taking a look. Realization, okay. I've got a crescent moon here and a number three which is Jupiter, which is expansion. I also, the thing I like about this a lot is that she's standing, it's like a new doorway has opened and she can go into a new realm. So I think you're being asked to expand and I think you're being encouragement. This card has appeared to say you know enough. You know enough. It's like you've done all your homework. It's like you've done everything. This new realm, it's time for you to walk into a new realm. It's time for you to expand. We've got a three here. So that is Jupiter. That is expansion. So it's time for you to expand into a new realm. Let's see if we're going to get more information about what is this new realm. Okay, I do think this is some of your paths here. Nine of Swords. I think you've been dealing with some really tough stuff. But I'm considering this side the Oracle side and this is definitely telling me that there's a readiness. This was probably part of your training ground. And maybe some old stuff had to come to the surface to be cleared. But you've been doing the clearing work. You've been doing the healing work. You've been doing everything you need to be doing. You've definitely been doing the work. So let's take a look what else comes here. Wow, Ten of Swords. Yeah, it's over. That is interesting, guys, because in book club, this came up yesterday when I was filming. So there's something that's over. Wow. Gosh, look at that. And it's like he's reaching for he or she. Oh, I think that is a she. Is reaching for the like the broom 
stick, like reaching to uh, get away or get out. But it's like there's something here just about total surrender. It's like no more escaping. Like this could be you reaching for, I don't know, an old TV show that used to make you happy or something like that. But it's like, but it's like, no, just it's over. There's something about it's over and just rest. Like you don't have to do anything is the vibe I'm kind of getting here. Okay. Let's have a look what the last card is. Two of Swords. And I think this is how life has felt to you lately, possibly as well. It's felt a bit two of swords. It's felt like, yeah, look at this person. She's blindfolded here. And the two of swords can be confusion. It can be, yeah, this person who's blindfolded. There's this kind of, I don't know what I'm doing vibe. It's, you know, that is here. But look at the skill and the precision, even though, hang on, let's focus back here. Even though she's blindfolded, she's hit the target. Look at the skill. Like you can blindfold this person and boom, she's just hitting the target every time. And I think this is interestingly a testament to your own psychic skills and gifts and ability. You have a superb intuition. <clears throat> Someone could turn off all the lights, take everything away from you, and it, you know, it might kind of seem like you don't know what's going on, but you're actually enormously skilled, enormously precise. You're bang on target. I think this has also come to say that even though maybe and maybe your world is looking a bit like it's it's not looking great right now. If someone was to come and look at your world, they'll be like, oh, but then but you are fine. Like you're so fine. You're so OK because of your own internal psychic gifts, intuition, all of that. You're on it. You know what's going on. You know that this bad stuff is just lifting and shifting and clearing and healing and that you're on the brink of that new plane it's it is here for you and I feel like it's just one step at a time just keep taking a step in the right direction just keep going where you know you need to go because this is like your internal world yeah there, and this is like a bridge between the two I can totally see what's happening here because like maybe the outside world maybe your world right now it's not um an outside person might come and look and go Gee, that doesn't look too good, you know, and, and, and it's easy from an outsider perspective to just look and go, yeah, that's not looking too good. But you know, you really do know, even though, and because Two of Swords can be a card of, yeah, confusion, I don't know where I'm going. But see, I was recently listening to a bit of, um, Jerry Seinfeld and I don't agree with him and he's I don't like he's not you know it's, it's okay if you guys don't like him I don't want it to trigger anyone that I mentioned Jerry Seinfeld but he recently did a talk at Duke University and I saw bits of it and I thought yeah that that is true he was saying that if you're on a path where you don't know where you're going and what it's leading to and any of that he says that's the better path to be on and I fully agree with that. I totally get that because I'm on that path with my Patreon at the moment. Like, I don't know what I'm doing, but, <laughs> but I'm like, I'm being guided. I'm being gifted stuff from the guides and they're showing me and like, I'm going, oh, okay, yeah, I can do this and I can do that. And, you know, an outsider could come to my world. I feel like I relate to a lot of this, actually. An outsider could come to my world and go, gee, your life actually looks terrible. But it's like, no, I know to hang in there for me, you know? And it's like, yeah, I, I'm resonating with you guys here. You stay on it. And it's like, and life could take everything away from you, but your intuition, you are, it's so good. You're, um, you're on track, you're on target, like, Life can throw anything at you and your skills. 
you're enormously skilled. Your skills, your knowledge is what's going to get you through and create this incredible life. So definitely keep going, group one. You're doing amazing. You are doing amazing. Wow, I'm actually feeling pretty complete here. I don't think we need to look up a book or do any of that. So let me know how you got on here, group one. You're a star. Look at that. And also the starfish star in tarot is healing. It is so you've done a, a massive amount of healing to the point where like I think life needs to challenge you quite a bit like to see, OK, you've been very good. Uh, you know, how good are you really? You know, like maybe life is testing you a bit, but you are very, very good. OK, so don't don't you worry about that. And uh, starfish star healing, right? Star card in tarot healing and the star you're you're a shining star you're shining brightly and this new world is right here for you you've got to keep taking one little step at a time and you know the first step might just be enjoying the view maybe you just look at this scene you know before you even take a step but it's all good it's all good group one thank you so much for being here we are now going to welcome group two with the tree of life okay so group two welcome i'm just going to shuffle the cards put these back in such a way that i don't i hopefully don't reshuffle them <laughs> bring them back all right so you chose the tree of life this is a beautiful symbol. Something very rooted, grounded, earthy. And yet you're reaching up. You're reaching up to the sky. And it's kind of like a simultaneous thing, reaching up to the sky and rooting into the ground, like at the same time. And I think it, both are needed, isn't it? It's like. The higher the tree goes, the deeper it roots into the ground. I'm sure there might be some correlation there. Like the taller the tree, the deeper the root system. Interesting. Okay, so let's take a look and see what is going on for you at the moment. And just to let you know that um, you will be able to watch the occasional pick a card for free on Patreon. I probably should have mentioned that in group one. Whoops, I didn't. But anyway, I'll try to remember to do that in group um, three. So yeah, come over to Patreon, guys. That's where I am most of the time now. But I will still be here on YouTube. What I'm going to do is the YouTube, uh, I will keep astrology going. That's the main thing. It seems that's what people really, really like. That's what people click on. And that's where people put a lot of likes as well. So, yeah. I mean, I'm just being guided, you know, what to do, how to do it. <laughs> just, just everything. Just my whole life is being guided, basically. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> All right, let's take a look. So, we talked about the tree Oh, get out of town. We just had this. That's wild. I shuffled. This is why I filmed the shuffling, because I was thinking I'd quite like to just draw the cards in advance. It would save a lot of time, but we can now see I need to shuffle. Right, so similar to group one guys I'm kind of getting a similar feel with you know there's knowledge here it might be time for you to teach something what is there for you to teach what is there for you to enjoy learning teachers are forever learning the best teachers are always learning you know we've got learning we've got tradition here let's see what we've got come in the next card I hope it's different <laughs> oh good release okay and we've got a waning crescent release we've got a 27 here so that's a nine that's an ending number 
to Mars number. Might be time to release something. We've got butterflies here. Release, let your light shine. Butterflies, transformation, okay. Let's see what else we've got. Three of Wands. This could be something, this could be something that to do with the future or what's on the horizon. Eight of Cups, wow. Okay, we've got a real message of, yeah, you gotta leave something behind. Walking away, leaving something behind, turning your back on something is depicted here. Could be some boundary work needed. Knight of Swords, wow. Onwards and upwards, it's time to go. Like, it's kind of like, yeah, you gotta, you gotta go and it feels like, well, it feels like there's really great things on the horizon for your future that you yourself have been magicking up. So this is stuff that you have been dreaming of, thinking of, putting into your future. It's kind of like it's time to go and experience that now. There's some, there's something, it's kind of like you're, maybe you're moving on from a phase of life. And I think this is why this, you've learnt enough on that, on that plane, wherever you've been circling for a while, it's like you've learnt enough here and you've got to let go of this plane and it it will require some action uh, but we've got swords here so it's a kind of intellectual thought maybe and i've just got the phrase pop into my head putting plans into action maybe you need to put some plans into action or you need to Maybe you need to create the plans as well because there is definitely something that you're walking away from. Releasing, letting go, could be a plane of existence. It could be, um, yeah, because we have the tree here as well. You've got to, it's, it's time to grow. I think you've outgrown. That's what this is. You've outgrown a cycle of life. You just you're just outgrowing it so um, so keep up with the growth I think this is keep up with the growth and take steps into the new and what you're going to discover are some of the dreams that you've put from the past are going to start materializing but it does mean taking action because we've got the number nine here, 27 with release. So there's action required, Mars action. You've got to act. And the action you have to do is letting go, walking away, moving on. It's gonna take some deliberate effort, but you're gonna meet the new and it's good new that what you're meeting. It's gonna be because it's something that you've dreamed up before. It's the good new thing that you're heading into. This is nice. I'm feeling inspired to try with the dice. Let's see what comes. So I've never done this before. <laughs> wow, we've got a number one. So we've got another like Mars type, but number one, you gotta look out for you. You've got to look out for you. This is Mars, this is Aries type energy. And we've got, now I do believe as we're seeing, we've got Scorpio here. Isn't that interesting? So it's like we've got Aries, the beginning, and we've got Scorpio, the end. We've got a lot of Mars energy present. So there's something you need to do. There's some actions you need to take. And it could be as simple as doing a bit of clutter clearing, 
throwing some old things out could help. But it's like, yeah, the tree, it, it needs to grow. And um, just recently, I'll give you an example. A friend of mine, she gave me a little rose plant and I've got it in my place. It's so cute. And um, yeah, and what I do in the evenings is like I feed it water and everything. And yeah, and I pick out the little dead leaves and just throw them out. And it's like, yeah, there's some old thing or something you need to clear here. That is the sense that I'm getting. But there's a, there's a strong message of completion here. We've got the one and we've got the Scorpio here. We've got, yeah, that, that you know, Aries being the start and Scorpio being the end. Well, group two, thank you so much for joining and come on to the Patreon. Look out for pick a cards there. I will aim to put pick a card there every now and then uh, when I when I have the energy, guys, and they will be free. All right. Well, thank you so much for joining and we will now welcome group three, group three. Welcome. Okay, now I'm definitely going to put these back. I Let me tell you, I put them back sort of in the middle. <laughs> and I do shuffle. <laughs> Let's see what happens. Group three, how are you? It's been a while since I've done one of these. I just wanted to say hi. And I also wanted to say that if you really like Pick a Card, um, please do come over onto Patreon you can create an account, an account there and you can watch when I upload the occasional pick a card, it will be on Patreon for free. OK, so I just wanted to let you know that uh, so that if, if you like pick a card and you're like, hey, I, I really enjoy your pick a cards, then they will be. I will occasionally post them on Patreon for free. So it, I know it is another platform and it's probably maybe a bit of a hassle and all that but see how you feel I mean you know but you can create I think I think you can watch it even without creating an account I don't know um, but I know it's pretty easy to create a free account on there and you can watch these for free on there I, I'll tell you something about Patreon I much prefer it as a platform at the moment I'm loving being on there I think it's fantastic. Oh, by the way, what thing were you? You were the flower. That's right. If you chose the flower, sorry, whoops, I'm a little bit out of practice here. Uh, if you chose the flower, oh, look at that flower. There's something in bloom. Maybe you're enjoying spring if you're in the northern hemisphere. Yeah, sweet. It's really nice. Okay, let's see what you got here. Group number three. Oh, the lovers. Nice. Oh, that's good. Now this can be a couple of different things. This can be choice, you know. Um, so it doesn't necessarily mean meeting someone or finding someone, but it can mean that as well. Oh, wow, get out. This is so cool. Look at this. Hang on. So, all right, well, she's playing a violin or whatever, but what I like is, look, it says flower moon blossoming. And guess who chose the flower? That is you. And you've got a 33 there. Very nice. So you group number three, 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 and you've got a six. So how cool is that? These are good vibes, guys. This is nice. All right. There's a lot of green being depicted as well. So things are in bloom. Oh, look at that. You got native cups. I, I am sure I, I, this is why I'm glad I film me shuffling. You got a native cups here. Now the plot thickens. All right. What are we walking away from? Let's take a look. Oh, I'm excited. Oh, wow. Seven of Cups. Yeah. Well, and we did speak about choice. You see, because the, the Lovers card is about choice. So I'm kind of getting this sense that, yeah, you can choose anything. You can choose anything. And I think walk away from anything 
that hurt you in the past. All right, let's go through all what the bad things could be in the past. You know, let go of people or anybody who hurt you, deceived you, tried to trick you, bullied you. Anybody who treated you badly, you walk away from straight away, 100%. Do not let them anywhere near you. And yeah, I'm pretty firm on this stuff. Because look, you have so much choice in life. Don't accept any bad treatment anymore. No more. I didn't realize <laughs> things are going to get so stern here, but they are. <laughs> no more bad treatment from anyone. Do not allow it. Do not allow it. There's too much good here. Let's have a look at what this is. Oh, yeah. Fantastic. The world. Look at that. You've got the world at your feet. You've got everything that you could possibly want. You've got all the choice in the world. You are free. Look at that. Look at the freedom. So just bloom. And, the, and yeah, we've got the lover's card here, but it doesn't mean, this doesn't mean that like you have to have someone in your life to be in love or to be feeling love. You don't need to have anyone the the vibes that are here this is about just feelings the feeling the feelings of blooming of being in love of being happy it doesn't require another person though another person may come or may be there but there's something in your past and it might be that this something from your past wants to come back in or something like that and i would say don't allow it do not allow it do not allow anyone who treated you badly or any of that don't allow them you know just yeah it's it's that's a pretty firm message coming through here uh let's see i'm gonna oh, i've got these dice let's see what what comes try to give these like a really good shuffle <laughs> how do you shuffle how do you well we roll the dice, don't we? That's what we do. Maybe I'll just roll it a bit. I'll put my hand here so it doesn't like fall off the table. Oh, okay. So we've got a nine. Yeah, there's an ending here. Um, that's Mars. So there's if if there's some old people from your past that try to come back in, oh, hey, I've changed, oh, this and that, whatever. No, don't. Just not. Nah. And what else do we have here? Um, that's Virgo, the hermit. Yeah, be on your own. Because see, that's Scorpio with the tail. Am I right about that? Let me just double check. I'm pretty sure I've got that right. Sometimes I just zodiac signs. Yeah, Virgo. Yeah, totally. Be on your own. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, I get it. Loud and clear, angels. Thank you. <laughs> Very good. <laughs> and a number nine yeah yeah if any if anyone from your do you know it could even be a job do you know I had I I went for a job one time and um God, what was this guy he was oh this was incredible it was it was at a bank in central London and they wanted a copywriter and this and that anyway so I went and I showed my portfolio and I mean, I, I was overqualified, but anyway, and he looked at all my work and he was such a snob and, and he was just like, he treated me badly in the interview. Imagine, and I, you should have seen some of my portfolio items. They were really, really good. And, and he said, oh, I've got other people to see. And I'm thinking, okay, well, and I'm, in my head, I'm, I know that he's not, they're not, he, they're not going to get another me. I knew that. And I left and then, and he treated me badly. And he was kind of like, oh yeah, I want to see the other people first and, and this and that. Anyway, and then I left and then, yeah, my headhunter got in touch and said, my agent, whatever, got in touch and said, yeah, look, um, they really want you. And I said, yeah, I don't want to work for them. And they tried it again in six months. And I was like, no, nope, don't want to do it. And then I think another few months later, they tried again, again. 
and each time I was like no you know and it's like yeah it, it, this is it can be hard to develop like a good self-confidence so in that instance I had it I had the good self-confidence that you treat me badly once and that's enough I'm out like oh do you know what I like watching I like watching Dragon's Den and Shark Tank and yeah the way that they when they say I'm out like these are people with very high self-worth very high self-esteem high self-worth and the way they operate like gosh you just do a tiny thing wrong with them and they're they're out you know um and yeah i mean is that is that a self worth type thing see because we don't want to become these people that can't be forgiving and all that as well so i understand look there's a balancing act as well but this this reading is clearly giving me look it's giving me a nine here it's giving me an ending it's also giving me hermit that you be on your own and you've got all the choice in the world you've got all the world at your feet you're blossoming you're blooming there's so much good happening in your world why would you let anything come in that could potentially bring that down so don't allow uh, anything to come into your space right now if it's not a good enough uh, or vibrational match guys I hope this has been a good reading for you let me know in the comments below and please do know that you can watch the occasional free pick a card it will be on patreon here and there now and then as time permits and as I have energy to do the work thanks so much for tuning in and I'll see you next time <music>